All right, guys, welcome back to another Ray Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays, and today we're going to be going over uh, the three new lo daily login reward champions. So you get one after uh, 30 days, one after 60, and one after 90. So we're going to start off with the uh, 90 day login reward. It's uh, Dark Aethel. So Dark Aethel has changed factions now that she's dead. Apparently, she's dead. She's an undead horde now, and she's an epic champion now as opposed to a rare. So let's get started. Her first uh, skill is Profane Glaive. So this is just an overview. I'm not going to be going, like, it's not a real review. I'm just telling you guys like her abilities and stuff and speculate where she would be good at. And yeah, and then maybe in the future I'll make another video where I do a build slash guide in depth review. So the first one is the Profane Glaive, level one. Obviously you can't update it yet. She attacks one enemy two times and has a 40% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns. So she used to attack three times. Now she attacks twice. So I guess when she dies, she got a little slower. <laughs> and uh, instead of weaken, she decreases defense now. She might actually be better for a uh, clan boss. Not sure yet. Still got to test it. And her damage based on attack. And she's an attack champion as well. And as you increase the level, you get more damage. And then the buff debuff chance goes up. And the next move is Blades of Blood. So this move changes uh, his tax all enemies like the other one did. And it has a 50% chance of placing a 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns. So this is very good for Arena, it looks like. Uh, not so much Clan Boss, no. And then as you upgrade it, uh, cooldown minus one. More damage, more uh, debuff chance. Yeah, it's pretty good. Decreasing speed is good. The other one gave her... Uh, Higher chance of crit. So this will actually be good for arena decreasing speed. Harvest of the Spare is the next one. It attacks all enemies. So she has two moves that attacks all enemies now. Uh, she places a 30% increased speed buff on herself for three turns. And if this attack kills four or more enemies, heals her by 50% of their max HP. This attack kills six or more enemies. Wait, what was that? Let's go over this again. Okay, so she gets increased speed. On herself for three turns if she kills four or more enemies and she heals herself by 50% of her max HP if this attack kills six or more enemies. And it grants an extra turn if this attack kills ten or more enemies. So you know where this is good in? Spider's Den. She's a Spider's Den Slayer right now, man. She got way better with her new... Uh... And then her aura now increases ally attack and all battles by 20%, which is better than the 15% uh, HP buff that she had before. So she looks like a solid champion. And we're going to go over the next guy, the next Yaga the Insatiable. So the next champion is part of the Skinwalkers faction. He's an epic and he's an attack champion. His name is Yaga the Insatiable. So he attacks one enemy and has a 40% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for two turns. And as you increase it, increases the chance and more damage. So this was like a, this looks like a character, like his basic is designed for clan boss as the poison. And then uh, Hungry and Plague attacks one enemy twice, and each hit has a 50% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for two turns. So he has two poison abilities already. He's like screaming clan boss right here. So they're like helping people uh, do more damage in clan boss so people don't struggle if they don't pull the proper champion. So that's good that Plarium did that. And then his next one attacks one enemy, and damage increases by 25% against targets under poison debuffs. So this guy really synergizes very well with himself. Like his kit, his kit is really good. And then his damage goes up and his cooldown goes down. Yeah, and then his aura skill increases ally accuracy in all battles by 40. So if you are not hitting the accuracy threshold in clan boss for like Nightmare or uh, Brutal, this guy will help you by 40. So he's a pretty solid champion. So it's a good job uh, for Plarium for giving this champion to people. And then K High Katan or Katoon. Still don't know how to pronounce that. So I just got this today. So if people have been um, playing for 30 days, at least they would get this. She is a character, part of the Barbarian faction. She's a support. She's a character designed to even the, not like completely even it, but let's just say she she's designed to even the playing field in uh, Arena. So if a lot of people have Gorgorab. If you don't have Gorgorab, you're kind of screwed in Arena. So she's, uh, that's what her design is. Like, you can look at her aura skill. She increased ally speed and all battles by 19%. So I was using Spirit Host before. She does 10%. So this is already 9% uh, improvement. 
And then another move is uh, Sham Shamanic Lightning. She attacks all enemies and has a 50% chance of increasing the turn meter by 15%. So that's good in AoE that decreases turn meter. That's Arena right there. And then Rally the Horde. She lets three the Ascended. We're not going to worry about the non-Ascended. Fills the turn meter of all allies by 15% and places a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns. So this right here basically takes... <laughs> This right here just takes away uh, Apothecary. Because she he does the exact same thing, right? I don't know how much percent of the speed that he does, but she does speed and 15%. He does 15% turn meter as well. But he all, she has a better um, aura skill as well. So you can replace uh, two characters for one, I guess. See her speed, 97. So her speed is not that low either. And her basic, she attacks one enemy and has a 25% chance of placing a 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns. So this character was designed just to help you guys uh, get better in Arena. So I already have her, so I'll slowly work on her, and then I'll make an in-depth guide slash review with her, how to build her, and I'll showcase her in Arena in the future. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, I want to say that uh, I want to say the player end has done a good job giving us uh, champions that are viable, not like Shaman and Jizo. Jizo's uh, okay, turns out he's okay in some places, but not for endgame. These champions will help you. A lot. So that's it for the video guys. If you uh, found this video helpful in any way, please drop a like. And if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, uh, consider subscribing. I do videos like this. Uh, not like this, but about Raid Shadow Legends um, almost every day. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.